Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, friends, and welcome back to what might be the finale of Ender Lilies. We might be there. We might be there. The abyss is right down here. Apparently, if we go right, I think it was right. I can't remember. <laughs> if we go right, apparently, we will get the final uh, engraving. I almost jumped in the water immediately like a cool guy. And uh, we can go on to the final encounter. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of da- Oh boy. Oh wow. How much here is there? Oh boy. Oh boy. It's something of a time trial, isn't it? Oh, oh shit. Uh, 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 no. Uh, I have to kill you. No, with this. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a bit of a problem. Come on, do it again. Thank you. This is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I need to just get on here and then heal myself. Very good. Uh, and then back, and then down, and then, then, okay, yeah, and then. A moment to rest. A moment's respite. It's worth millions. And I need to kill these guys. And it takes forever, and it's upsetting. There are so many down here. Oh no. Interesting though, we've never really had like a traversal sequence before. Oh god, come on. You know, like Hollow Knight had quite a few of them, obviously, but this game, not so much. I don't remember if there's been one previously. Despite this not being that long a series, it has been a while. I took a week off, remember? I don't remember everything. Like, I don't know, I'll do my best. Uh, the damage down here is fucking real though, Jesus Christ. Why would they hide the last engraving behind millions of tons of blight? Not fighting you. Not. Oh, I have to fight some of you. That is a lot of health regen, though. Yep, thank you. Thank you kindly. I'm just gonna go over you guys. Good. And then down. And hey, buddy. Nice little respite from the blight to get more blight. I don't get it. I don't have to get it. I'm not required to. Just gonna... Skiddly diddly through here. Oh, it's, I think it's even worse underwater. I think it might be worse. Go, 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 go. Uh, can I get around that? Yes. Go, go. I mean, I could have got around all of them, technically. I'm about to die. I'm a, yeah. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I have the Blight Restorative Mask or Blight Prevention Mask on, so I think I'm just going to need more survival -y relics and also to hurry up. I might need to hurry up. And wear the necklace in case we have to get something out of our way. And then we just fucking go for it, I suppose. Just go for it. Yep. I did find everything in that place, so all I need to do is just go. Just big go, big time, move as fast as possible. I can do it. I can do it. I'm a speedy boy. Yep. This is the way. Just gotta be careful for when, yep, the spiky ball. Oh, yep, that's fine. Yep. 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 And heal, good, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> title of this video is gonna be yep. For all the yapping I'm doing, uh, fuck, okay, nope, that's fine. I've gone around it, everything's good. Down we go, took a breath, now keep going, we'll be very fast in the water, oh. The damage in the blighted water is fucking real, though, Jesus Christ. Also, if I misdo one of those dashes, I'm fucking dead. No, like that, exactly like that. If one of them hit me, I'm fucked. Even if it didn't outright kill me, the amount of health I'd lose would be so crippling that, you know, it would just ruin the entire run. That's tricky. I might have to concentrate for that.
no! Please? Apparently I'm not taking damage anymore, I think I did it. I think I hecking fucking freaking did it. I think I maybe perhaps did it. The Deathless Pact. Only high-ranking priestesses are permitted to perform the necromantic rites that entreat the souls of the dead. I knew there'd be necromancy. I was calling it from episode one. A warrior of the ancients must forfeit flesh and offer their soul to the priestess, in turn becoming a deathless entity. The pact is then sealed and continues down the family line through the generations until the bloodline comes to an end. The ancient warrior shall remain immortal so long as the pact continues. So in order for our ancient friend to die, we would have to die. And then he could finally know peace. There's the stone tablet fragment. We have all of them. This is one of our warriors consumed by the blight. Oh yeah, more fucking ancient souls. Brilliant. Also, I'm sorry about your friend. Oh, this is a cutscene. We are the last ones left alive. An undying warrior's end comes upon the death of the priestess to which they are bound. And the hour of death has come for my priestess and I. My eyes grow dim. Soon only our decaying corpses will remain. Baron Eldred is... The battle is lost, our homeland stripped bare. What fate awaits a people who have lost everything? Hatred is the vilest blight. Unaffected by purification, it festers, rotting one from within. Listen well, Ferrin, last of the undying warriors. The bond of the Deathless Pact will pass on to a new priestess. I beseech thee, carry us in your memories. Be the guardian of the last priestess of our ancient society. So this is Farin that we've been traveling with? Ancient Soul Time 2, used to enhance the Umbral Knight. Yes! Damn. Rest in peace, my brother in arms. Damn, these Umbral Knights are fucking cool. I lost the priestess that I was meant to protect long ago. And have been imprisoned here ever since. And I met you, the carrier of her ancient bloodline. My first thought was to break the bonds of the pact. By my own hands, I would end it. Ah. Oh. But as we traveled together, I came to a realization. I was once supposed to protect the priestess of this land long ago, and I'm still meant to protect her. You are the last hope of the ancients. Together we can free the white priestess of the fount. I believe this to be the sole wish of the ancients. A wish from people long since consumed by the blight. Damn. 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 The ancients are so fucking cool. <laughs> they are so fucking cool. I love these Umbral Knights. They're fucking sick. Hello. What's that? Oh, cool. Handy. I mean, I could have just done Return to Respite, but that works too. Yeah, happy with that. All right, that's done. Very good. Upgrade Umbral Knight, let's fucking go. Attack combo, attack action speed, and attack power, yes. Secret, fully enhance the Umbral Knight. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Oh, my boy. Very nice. I like that a lot. All right, now we have to actually begin exploring this place properly. As in the place we're supposed to go. Fun thing I noticed about uh, Faden and Muriel though, which I imagine most of you probably noticed when you played through, but I only noticed when I um, went through the, went over the footage and went through the cutscene. But, uh, you know, in, in the little like purification scene where it's Faden talking and it pans up to that spider and the butterfly in the um, spider web. Well, I noticed that the spider had markings on it that were very similar to Faden's, like, mask hood thing that he wears. And the butterfly's wings, I'm pretty sure, were very similar, if not identical, to the wings that this form of Muriel has. You can see right there, those are wings. But I looked back in the footage, because I didn't notice any wings during the boss fight, because I was too busy focusing on the attacks, and noticed that she does in fact have wings. 
Now, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to convey because, like, I don't know, Faden wasn't really preying on Muriel or anything like that, but it was an interesting detail. I did appreciate it. I was like, that's a nice little bit of symbolism you've done there. Why don't y'all perhaps do some conjecture, or just straight up tell me, I guess, if it's more obvious than I think, as to what that means? <laughs> Because that's interesting. Maybe it kind of makes reference to the fact that his attempts to save her made it worse or something. I don't know. All right, Julius, we need a big run up and go and blap. And we're in. Hello, douchebag. God, their projectiles are faster now and they do more damage. But fucking wonderful. I fucking love the way that this is, except I don't. No. I knew you were about to. I was like, nah, man. Nah. Nah. That's restoring spirit usage, but a bit early and seems unnecessary. Maybe it's just to symbolize that there's lots of light down here. You fucking fuck. Stop. You stop now. Cease. I'm going to need to be better than this. I'm going to need to be better than this. Definitely. Ah. Uh. Is it my skill issue? No, it's the game that is wrong. Thank you. Keep being a nuisance and then you die. Oh. I should have known the game wasn't just going to like end. It'd be like, here's a boss fight. It's like, no, it wants me to fight through it first. These guys are really awkward. There we go. Fuck. Drawing nearer now and I've never understood more clearly. She is out there at the end of this blighted breadcrumb trail. I hate you up there, you got fucking your range and everything about- I forgot to change my relics back as well, probably should have done that. Oh my god, I hate you so much, no. You're awful, the bands you like are awful. You're misrepresenting my colour. Well, it's not really pink, it's more like purple, so eh. Nah, that's kind of pink. You make pink look bad. Why are you even here? Get out. Fucking shit. Fucking hecking fucking crap. Fucking god fucking damn. Away with you. Ah. Uh -huh. It's the living. Nope. There we go. Julius is good for these. All right, we can make that work. That's fine. You suck! You are just... You are just awful. You are just awful. You are just awful. You are just awful. Absolutely fucking awful. This is going to be a long episode, because I can't not finish the game this episode, really. There's nothing else to do by this point. So I've got to, you know, pull it out a bit. <laughs> Get a grip. Start playing properly. Stop fucking around. Get it done. Oh god, the timing on it is so weird as well. I never get it right. What if I- oh no, I can't really ignore them here because I need to do some specific- Ah, fuck it, I am gonna ignore them. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, because you idiots. Idiots. I hate them so much. I don't like them. I wish they would die. I know I'm supposed to do that, but it's tricky because they move around a lot and then they attack and their attacks are really powerful. Like, like, like- Although I've noticed the contact damage isn't very high, which is interesting. It's usually ridiculous. Very spooky, must be said. Very spooky. Yes, indeed. Very spooky. And there are apparently secrets down here. No riddles. No secrets to be within them. Ow, just secrets. I hate the way they move. It is so fucking annoying. They do their little circle patterns and shit. I might need to change around some spirits, perhaps. Uh, no. Oh, God. I'm going to be here forever. I'm not even going to beat the first fucking room, let alone the boss, let alone the game. Worst part is, I bet those aren't the only enemies down here, and I bet they're not the hardest either. Fucking guarantee it. No need to deal with you, so I what? Hate you. Hate you so much. So much hate. Am doesn't even know what hate is compared to what I feel. For this little pink bastard right now. 
Yeah, I gave him something to think about. Incompetent Sinner is actually really fucking good. No one is surprised by this. What if I just ignore him? What, 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 what? Yeah, what if I just ignore him? He can't go underwater. He's stupid, so I'm just gonna ignore him. Yeah, fuck him. Let's make some progress for a change. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yep, it's all good. Oh god, it's actually really good because they can't turn around to face you when they initiate their attacks so you just go past them. Okay, that does make things a lot easier. Alright, we got something now. It only took me dying like, what, four times or something <laughs> to finally pick up on that. But we got there eventually. That's my motto. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's much better now. Okay. <sighs> Alright. It's fine. I was freaking out, but it's all good. Thank you for the furious blight. I do appreciate it, sir. Thank you, thank you. Now it's a secret in this area. Marvelous. So I don't even need to look around. I can just leave. And I fucking might. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. Why would I bother? Why would I bother? Memorial, reach every respite. This is the last respite. Wait, really? That was just that one little zone and then we're there? Oh, okay. Unless there's a massive run to the boss, like you have to go really far. And I hope there isn't because I fucking hate those. Fretia's Memoirs 5. I want to see the sky, the magnificent blue sky, and I'd lost hope in ever drawing again. And yet my left hand brings hope. If I can tame it to right, maybe. Oh, to be spirited away by some kind soul, even for just a brief respite. Obtain findings 24 through 28. Fine, you want to play like that? I can play like that. Yeah, oh, I can do it. Oh, I can do it. Fuck. Uh, give me two seconds and I'll have it done. Even though this is entirely unnecessary. I just like flaunting the thing. I just like doing the thing that Silver do. White Priestess Earrings. Hello. Increase the maximum number of uses for the healing prayer by one. Earrings worn by the White Priestess of the Fount, bestowed as a gift from the Prior Priestess. She became the White Priestess on the day of her 14th birthday. That's too young to be saving the world, but then look at Lily, I suppose. Or Lily, quote unquote. There are more secrets to be found inside the riddles of this room. I'm gonna find them. Yep, there's one over there. And there's one here. Read. Their research in the verboten domain was meant to find a cure for the White Priestess of the Fount, but instead they choose to carry out grotesque experiments on live human subjects. The White Priestess has no heir, so they dare to try to create their own. The mages who carry out these experiments, the king and chief guardian who approve them, they've all gone mad. Just what do they intend to do with these Urzatz Priestesses? Will they replace the White Priestess with one of these abominations? Urzatz Priestess. That's weird, I've never obtained all findings. Ah, oh, expose indeed. Um, I've never heard of them trying to make new white priestesses before. That's entirely new information and very concerning. I'm guessing it probably didn't go very well, you know? I need to be better than I was. And I can be. Now the right way to do it would be to get the, uh, the spirit that allows me to go up, but that seems a little lame. I don't think I'm going to do that. There we go. That's how it's done. That's how you do it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Amulet fragment. Refurbishment. Attain maximum HP. Don't I fucking know it. HP, max, blight, max, attack, probably max, prayer potency, not quite max because I haven't equipped the other relic, but close enough. Wait, have I not found everything in this route? What, there's more? Oh, hold on there, buckaroo. No one said there was more in this room. Look, there's her easel. Oh, I just noticed that was there, yeah. Which means the white priestess of the fount is presumably down here. Or Fretia. Can't be honest, I'm having trouble keeping up with all the different names I've heard. Especially since we don't end up meeting half of them. It's a little confusing. 
All right, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, I say. Fuck it. We're going in. We're going in. Whatever is going to happen next, we're going in. That's what we're doing. We're going in. Yes, indeed. All right, what do you got? I'm going to come through here a few times, I think. Journey to all maps. Didn't I just? This room is unfinished. Hello. At long last. I didn't go- <laughs> I didn't go do the thing! Oh, oh, fuck you, I can get both endings then, can't I? Uh, the one where I do the thing and the one where I don't. Alright, yeah, that works out. Sorry, the White Priestess of the Fount. Coming here was pointless. Flee. Be rid of this place. It's too late for me. Oh? Oh dear. Blighted Lord! That's fucking cool! I immediately saw where your weak point was. Oh, you spawn people. I don't like that. Yeah, you spawn those things that I hate. What if I just kill your friend real quick? What if I just kill both of you real quick? Yeah, how about some of that? What do you do? Ah, oh, that's what you were doing. I see. Yes. Yes, I do see now. He's quite durable. Whatever this is, it's quite- ow, it's quite durable, and I'm not. I take a lot of damage. That did a big help. It appears to be quite upset. It's because it is. Whatever, nerd. I've got you right where I want you, which is in the center of the room. Convenient, no? Youch. Music's ow, pretty good, must be said. Please stop killing me. Youch. What did I just say? Ah, oh, just just a second too late. How very annoying. I will get you, blighty boy or girl, you know, blighty person. <laughs> I am not winning this, by the way, because um, they're at like I want to say forty to forty-five percent health, and I'm at yeah, significantly less. Okay, interesting. More airborne attack power, I think, is going to be necessary. Now, obviously, I could just quickly run off and, um, you know, do the incantation to get the true ending, but I figure... I, that was my genuine intention to begin with as well, I should say. My genuine intention was to go do that incantation first, then come here, but I forgot. But seeing as I have forgotten, why don't we just get all the endings, hey? Hopefully the boss is different depending on which ending you get. Or if you have or haven't done the incantation. If not, doesn't matter. I don't think... Truthfully, I don't think this boss will be too difficult. Let's just make sure this is the same. At long last, yeah. I missed. Uh, cancel the boss fight. I missed. That's not very nice. I see you missed, making me the victor. Wait for it. Oh, he's lined it up perfectly. Yes. Yes, he has. I keep- honestly, those little enemies are doing more damage to me than the bosses. Which is very silly of me, specifically. This is quite a different scale to what we fought previously. It also visually actually looks quite impressive, because it would be very easy to make a very large, like, you know, Satan-looking boss, and have it look either dumb or unimpressive, but- or honestly, in this setting, just not fit. But no, it fits. It looks right. It's appropriate. Everything about it visually is appropriate. I approve. Not that they need me. 
fuck, there's too, there was too many. I let too many of them show up. Not that the game needs me to approve, but I do approve for what little it's worth. All right, this will take a few tries, but that's fine. That's what I'm here for. Ow. That's what I'm here for. Let's have a few goes. All right, let's give this a go then, shall we? Hello, blighted lord. I knew you were doing an attack. I've fucking seen that shit. Can't fool me. I was only born two minutes. Ugh. I did block it. Holy shit. I, oh, this is the one. This is obviously the one. How did that hit me? I was in the middle of that. It should have been iframes, surely. I guess not. That was the worst way to dodge, but it worked out. Too early, far too early, miles too early. I hate you. I hate you so much. Everything that you are sucks. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, second phase. Right, okay. Plenty of damage. Good, yes, that's what we like. Come on. Come on, just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't hit the bottom one. That's sad. It worked out. Everything's good. I'm... I'm winning. I'm sat here winning right now. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'm gonna heal. Yeah! That's how we do! So much damage! It's gonna be a second phase, isn't there? I'd be very fucking surprised if there wasn't. Or maybe the second f Ow. Second phase only comes in if you uh, go to get the true ending, perhaps. Youch. Quick kill. I have two of these to spend, so I'm gonna fucking spend them. Why wouldn't I? Is that it? Did I win? Did I get the Cheerios? Get fucked. Journey's end. Witness ending B. Yeah, because this ain't the true ending. So much blight power! Stop, come no further. Or you too will be consumed by my blight. Yeah, but I want it. Oh wow, I'm super blighted. Eyes went red and everything. Surely you saw many flowers on your journey here. The awful rain of death, darkening the skies of Land's End. Thriving on the rain, they blossom off my blighted body, the root of the scourge. I can feel the blight surging through my form. If only I had control over its spread, then I could stop it at the source. Perhaps a day will come when I can hold back the blight without it seeping out. Not that it matters anymore. I wish the world didn't require that you bear the burden of the blight. You're the only clone of myself left. Clone? Are we an ersatz priestess? That would be a twist. Lily, even knowing what you do now, do you wish to remain with the priestess of the fount? Will you bear the blight together? Oh, what a good little egg she is. No. This suffering is mine to bear and mine alone. Yeah, but fuck that though. You don't tell me what to do. I'm your clone. You're not my mum. Purify! Please don't let this be your fate. Oh, this is going to be sad, isn't it? Please. Oh! 
That's a pretty cool ending, though, to be fair. Like... Oh, and there's music as well. Oh, and there's singing. Um, yeah, even if that wasn't, like, the true ending, and if there was no true ending, and that was just the ending, I'd be like... I don't know, maybe a little anticlimactic, sure, but a pretty cool ending nonetheless. I like it. I'm excited now, though, to see what happens when we get the Curio Aegis, though. How's that going to change things? Why do I get the feeling Lily's going to die anyway? Like, I just... I really get the impression that that's going to happen. I think it's just going to be a bad time for everyone. Or actually, no, let's be more specific. The whole point is that it'll be a good time for everyone, but a bad time for Lily, because... Knowing her, she'd probably sacrifice herself so that all of Land's End would be fine, but... She would either die or be permanently imprisoned in the process. Because she's a good little egg. But I don't want that to happen. I mean, I'll ex obviously, it's more than acceptable as an ending to the game because it makes complete sense. But it would make me sad. Despite everything, it's still raining. Maybe, maybe if I get the true ending, it'll stop raining. And I can stop making um, uh, rain jokes for the title. I used up the last one in the last video, and that wasn't even my joke. That was Other Evans. Evan, Other Evan came up with that, and I stole it. I told them I was going to steal it. I just didn't say when. <laughs> but I did steal it. Yeah, totally. I've never had an original thought in my life. I steal everything. really weird at the moment because in my brain I'm like oh man what a cool game that was and I'm like we're not done yet <laughs> it's not over we still have to go get the true ending glad I did it this way around to be honest but yeah no we're not done she whispers from the abyss bound as one we shall never be apart which to be honest that's a nice ending in of itself like it's bittersweet obviously ending B is bittersweet funnily enough but a good ending in a sense. I wouldn't call it a bad end. It doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel like an ending where you're fucked up. It just feels like this is an ending. This is just what happened. Hello, Blighted Phantom. Calls forth the visage of the Blighted White Priestess. A phantom of Blight yet since purified, or Blight yet disdain the White Priestess? Curious that Blight should appear so eerily reminiscent of tears. Does this just change our appearance? Because if so, that's pretty cool. And I might rock it for the final fight. For funsies. It's... Yeah, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, we'll do that. All right, yeah, that's cool. Let's go do that incantation that I forgot to do, but honestly, it turned out for the best. Are you telling me I still haven't found everything in this? Are you fucking serious? Fine, whatever then. Fine, whatever then. Fine, whatever then. I don't even care. I care immensely. Restore power to the lost amulet. Here we fucking go. Let's do this. Perhaps performing the ancient spell here will unfetter the protective power of the White Priestess within your amulet. I'll decipher the stone tablet that we've pieced together. Oh boy. 
big moment. Oh, hello. Luminant Aegis Curio protects from the pain of purification, an amulet whose form and power were restored by Faden's magic. The ancients crafted it long ago and dubbed it the Aegis Curio. The power it holds lessens the suffering caused by the blight during a priestess's purification ritual. With any luck, it will ease the burden purification has placed on you. Rebirth, restore power to the lost amulet. There we fucking go. So what would happen if I wore that and then went to the place where we got the very first ending we had? Would that do anything? I might go check it out. It's not like it'll fucking end the game or anything. Yeah, no, I think this is the same. It's worth pointing out that right now, the humble knight is looking at Lily like, hey, look, my last chance to like be able to die is about to go across that threshold and I'll never be able to get to it. And he just lets her go. He's just like, yeah, nah. It's the way it's gotta be. He's a cool guy. Then again, he does say that they'll probably see each other again, so... That ending remains the same. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to check. Alright. Final run. Do we fight the same boss again? We've got the thingy equipped. Hello. At long last, this looks like it'll be the same. Obviously, it's after the fight that it changes. Or maybe not. The White Priestess of the Fount. She's like, stop coming here. It's all blight and shit. Get out. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a boss fight again. You know that. And I'm like, whatever. It wasn't even that hard. Lol. I'll probably lose a couple times, though. I don't know. We'll see. The final boss is pretty cool, but it's nothing particularly special, I'd say. It's alright, it's fine. I'm curious to see if uh, we do get another boss fight after this one for trying to get the true ending. That would be interesting. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it now. Yes! You're both dead. Killed by me! I think there probably will be another fight after this, because this is kind of absurdly easy. Then again, the game doesn't present itself as being like some super hard fucking ultra sweaty game, so maybe not. Ouch, I took a hit. I don't believe it. How dare you? And also, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm on now. How the fuck did you get through my impossible field of of Julius laser? I've actually played this quite poorly and might die as a result. Now nah, fuck that and fuck you. That's not good. Okay, that was spooky. Down she goes. Julius, kill this thing! I, I really- alright, Sigrid do it, fuck it. <laughs> She's the true hero. No idea. Gonna do it so good. Stop, come no further, or you too will be consumed by my blight. Nah, man, I got that amulet. But I've got the amulet. Yeah, the amulet. Yeah, the amulet.
Oh no. Is this round two? It's totally round two. It's 100% round two. <laughs> I had a feel. Ah! I had a feeling! It did seem a bit too easy, did it not? Okay, I'll have to concentrate a little bit. Because I bet if I lose, I have to fight both fights again. No! <laughs> I bet I have to fight both fights again. She just seemed less durable this time, though. Oh, no, not this again. That's not so bad, honestly. Probably better to not take a million hits, though. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, you can't stop me. Yeah, no one can. I'm such a big man, I can't be stopped. In the in the form of a little girl. Shows just how big a man I am. What are you doing? I don't actually know. It spooks me. I, was, I got scared. Should heal. Oh, it's going into final phase time. I guess. I don't know, I'm a little confused. Can I hit you yet? I can. Good. I'm gonna keep doing it. Is she just letting me kill her? She doesn't appear to be doing attacks. That's really cool. Oh, that's actually really cool. That she's like letting you yeah she's letting you do it oh that's really good that's really that's actually a really cool like in gameplay narrative thing i like that witness ending c purify because it kind of sets you up for like oh my god this it's going to be the big hardest form like right at the end there and it's like no you've like hit her enough that she's like Letting you do it. Perhaps she now she believes that like, oh yeah, you can handle this. Or it was as if I'd been in an internal slumber. Or you hear enough that she was able to break through and then stop it. Unsure if I was alive or dead. The days were filled with nothing but pain. I imagine. It must have been fucking awful. When I awoke, I lay on a black pedestal. I felt a warm touch grace me. The tiny white priestesses were holding my hands. Like a bunch of pleasant little goblins, the same priestesses who were made to take on my blight. From nearby, I could barely make out the voices of coven members. Blight transfer rite was about to begin, so they made those white priestesses to take her blight away. The priestesses, knowing nothing of their fate, nuzzled up to me, and they were completely unaware as well. These children would be sacrificed to keep me alive. Damn. What was it all for? The time I spent with them was what truly saved me. If I am to pass on a legacy to these children, Let it be one of hope, not suffering. Damn. So the White Priestess of the Fountain was the coolest of us all, really. But how? How is this happening? Well, you know, I made a cool little amulet and... It really helped. Could one pri White Priestess alone have such power? I did a lot of fighting. Like, it's not been that long, but I've done a lot of fighting. I did a lot of people absorbing. I could bitch slap Aratus right now with very little effort. No, that amulet. You made it whole again? All the fragments? All the shadows of our history? The unknowable suffering? You're going to bear it all from now on? Uh, oh, hang on, I didn't sign up for that. Aww. I see. You came all this way with everyone. Thank you. For freeing us all. For freeing me. You accomplished what I couldn't. You never were just a clone of myself. 
You're your own person, Lily. Oh. You've grown so much. It's time I should be going. I'll be watching over you. But you'll have your good buddy Umbral Knight with you, right? We'll always be together. <gasps> it stopped raining! Let's go! <laughs> Finally! I knew she was gonna fucking s not, you know, sacrifice herself implies that she would die in the process, but no. She has sacrificed herself in a sense, by now she has to stay there to keep the blight out. But she won't, it, you know, she won't feel pain from it thanks to the amulet. So that's good. On, on the whole, it's a happier, it's definitely a happy ending. I would have liked it if we focused a little bit more on like, the, you know, the bond between Lily and the Umbral Knight, but that's fine, I suppose. I'm very aware of the fact that I'm missing an achievement, and I fear it's beat the game on New Game Plus. This is a different song, I think. No, it's the same song. But I'm genuinely surprised by how much I enjoyed this game. Which sounds weird, because, you know, you all knew that this was a good game, but like I've said a million times before, I quite like Metroidvanias, but I almost never really stick them out. I never really... My, my fondness for them does not persist to the end of the game, right? I got tired of Hollow Knight long before that game was over, and I got tired of Blasphemous before that game was over, and Blasphemous is not very long at all. It's roughly as long, if not maybe a bit shorter than this game, in fact, I think. Can't remember. But something about this one was just more enjoyable? I don't know. Something about how it played, something about how it felt to control, something about the visuals, something about the the audio, the music. The music, I think, helped quite a lot. The, the combat style, you know, the way you use spirits and stuff, just felt better, it just felt more interesting, it just felt more enjoyable to play. I felt like within like two, maybe three episodes, I had a full understanding of how my character controlled. Doesn't mean I could do it perfectly. I'm not claiming that. That would be absurd. But I knew what my character could do. I knew, and like when I got killed by something, I wasn't sad there going like, what the fuck was I even supposed to do? I'm like, yeah, I should have dashed or yeah, I should have parried. There was never a feels bad moment in this game in regards to my own deaths. I never felt like I've been cheated, I never feel like the game cheaped me out, I never felt like there was any reason for me failing any encounter other than, ah, oh, I just didn't play it right, or maybe, ah, oh, some different relics might help, or ah, oh, some different spirits would be more appropriate, would be more helpful. But honestly, I could have, you could beat any encounter in this game with most of the spirits, like, and I, you know, if you want to, but you don't have to. Pick spirits that are more applicable, it makes sense, do it, hello. It is done. She's still all blighted though. At long last, for each a proper burial. Lily, take heart. You are not alone. The blight may have taken them, but they are still watching over us. And I will never leave your side. Nice. Amidst a collapsed world, her words echo out. Thank you for finding your way to me.
We got a good ending, like a goody good ending, like a, I think that's the true ending, I'm pretty sure. New game plus. Resume. Pick up lost heirloom. Allows the recollection of one's unblighted form, a hair ornament made from a pale flower received from the white priestess of the fount after the blight immobilized her. The priestess of the fount gifted these handmade ornaments as blessings to the other priestesses in her stead. There it is! There it is! Hang on, let me just check real quick. Oh, I have 100%ed Ender Lilies. Oh, I've done it. Oh, I've done it. The whole fucking game done. How's that for a complete playthrough, huh? In about 20... Well, let's be fair, 21 hours. In 21 hours, that's 100% completion. Let's leave Lily in a, in a... Let's get her back to her true form, true self. You may now access Blightborn modes. Toggle these optional challenging modes to tailor your desired game experience. You may now access Maligned Memories. Prepare for back-to-back -back battles against each previously boss, purified boss whose memories you have viewed. So it... They made, they made a boss rush mode. Player level cap. Oh, so you really can. Enemy hits cause instant death. Disable prayers. I mean, those two are, you know, mutually exclusive. You know, there's no point having prayers if enemy hits kill you instantly. Contact damage multiplier. I'd fucking turn that shit to zero <laughs> if I could. If I could go through this game again, I would put that to zero. Although, I gotta be honest, as much as I hate contact damage, turning that to zero would ruin this game because the game was designed with contact damage in mind. So, I wouldn't actually do that. I would just redesign the entire game so it didn't have contact damage. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Alright, hang on. Let's get that relic real quick. What if I equip both? What happens? What happens? Oh, you can only have one or the other. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, she's all non-blighted now. Lovely. And then memories. Let's give it a try. Let's see how we do. Hey, Sigrid, it's been a while. You've already fucked me up. Honestly, if I lose to Sigrid, I won't be surprised, but it will be pretty embarrassing. Do you mind? I'm going to attack you with yourself. This <laughs> So they've actually upscaled them to make these interesting. That's pretty cool. Because otherwise, like, even, like, you know, if I had a few swings at this, I could do it quite easily, but... It would have been rather pointless to have a boss rush mode where these guys had no additional stats, right? Ow. Where they're all the same strengths that they normally are. But, yeah, that's not as cool, though, if you're... All Souls-like games, I feel. And, you know, I'm referring to this game as a Souls-like very loosely, because I think it's something else entirely. Like, it is its own entity in that sense, but it definitely draws from the Souls-like uh, conventions and stuff. But all games like this should... How about you don't do that? Uh, all of these should have a boss rush mode, in my opinion. Because... You shouldn't have to play the entire game again to get to see these cool moments. Or say you want to show them off to someone, right? Like, <coughs> have a look at this boss, right? Isn't it fucking nuts? That's fucking cool. You don't want to have to play the entire game again just to show people what's going on. Now, Sigrid, sure, you could get to pretty quickly, but if you want to show them, like, Julius... You know, that's a pretty fucking cool fight. You don't want to have to play all the way back to the castle just to show someone the Julius fight. But yeah, remember remember when we fought Sigrid? This is when I was first when I first realized that like, oh, this game's pretty hard, but it's not gonna be difficulty for the sake of difficulty. They're just gonna be challenging. Oh Gerard, my boy! How's it been? How are the kids? You doing alright there, buddy? Yeah. I thought I had a last try and I didn't. That was pretty embarrassing. That's also embarrassing. I'm just gonna take a moment to heal. Don't mind me. Ah, oh. but it's, you know, it's a shame that the game is over, but I would honestly say that this game has been exactly as long as I would want it to be, both from a professional 
standpoint, like, you know, as, uh, oh fuck, as someone making videos, but also uh, from in the terms of, like, pure personal enjoyment. It lasted exactly as long as I wanted it to. It did now say it's welcome. Yeah, there we go. Um, it did now say it's welcome. I spent most of the game wanting more, and lo and behold, there was always more, and it was always really good. But I reckon around about the time you beat the Forbidden Domain, because that, get, that area is a bit of a fucker, you're, you're kind of at the point where you're like, all right, I think I'm ready to conclude this now. Like, we had really cool fights with Ulv and Julius, and, um... I mean, they were all cool fights, but those were two of the cooler ones. Gerard was pretty fucking sick as well. Muriel was a bit meh, but conceptually and visually was very interesting. No, this game lasted and was exactly as long as it needed to be. And considering that it is actually a bit longer, I'd say, or roughly as long as Blasphemous, I don't know. I think that says a lot. I think... I don't want to shit talk Blasphemous too much, but I think it got a lot of its attention based on its visuals, which, to be fair, the visuals in Blasphemous are fucking astounding. Let it never be said that they're not. But if I was to compare this and Blasphemous directly next to each other and be like, which one's better? I'd say Ender Lilies every day. I think this is much more interesting. I think this is much more enjoyable. I think it's a better game, but... I should point out that that is entirely my opinion. If you prefer Blasphemous, fair play to you. It is a very good game. It just didn't quite um, gel with me like this one did. No, I'm really, really impressed with that. Was a, that was a great experience. I enjoyed that so much. I hope you guys did too. Y'all seemed pretty into it. Like, I was... I've said it, I think, briefly before, but I was nervous going into this game because I kind of looked at it and... I felt like, and I'm, it turned out this wasn't the case and I'm glad, but it felt like when people voted for this, they voted for it because Millie did the soundtrack. That's what it felt like at the time. And I was like, y'all have literally picked this because, you know, Project Moon fans are also Millie fans and they just want stuff with Millie in it. It'll be the closest thing I could do to Project Moon and that's why people have picked it. But then I started playing it and I was like, oh no. No, no, no. And like, I should point out, I wasn't the only one who thought that either. But as soon as I started playing it, I was like, no, 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 there's a little bit more here. This is actually a good game. It's like actually a genuinely good game. The Millie soundtrack is actually just icing on top rather than the foundation and the substance. The foundation and substance of the game is a fantastic Metroidvania, which I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience with the whole time. It's been great. I'm looking forward to seeing what the next voted game will be. I get the impression it'll be Signalis, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's like 14 other candidates because there's going to be a vote on... Um, actually, by the time this goes up, the vote will have already started, yeah. Uh, there'll be a vote on on YouTube, a vote on Discord, and a vote on Patreon. I'll, I'll have announced these in the post as well. So, you can join the Discord if you want to have two overall votes. Uh, and you can chuck me a buck a month if you want to get three overall months. Or votes. I'm all over the place. Oh, I was, yeah, no, I am all over the place because it's really weird that Ender Lilies is over. I was just, I don't know, fully invested in playing through it and wasn't particularly gunning for the end, as it were. I was just like, yeah, let's just do more. Let's just keep doing more. Let's just keep playing. Let's just keep exploring. I'm excited to play uh, Ender Magnolia, and I'm definitely going to, but I want to wait for it to come out of early access. I don't like playing games and then having it be like, okay, now wait until the rest of the game's done. Like, I don't like really playing demos. I don't like playing games in early access. What I might do, actually what I think I will do, is I'll show my support for Ender Magnolia and its eventual full release by buying it in early access because I'm going to be buying it anyway, so I may as well fucking buy it and support them now. But I won't be touching it for a series or videos, or in general, I won't touch the game at all until it's done. At which point, then we'll totally do a series on it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I hope and hope and hope and pray, it will be just as good as this, if not better. But that's all from me for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Lumen, Crystallite, Summercat, Flanny, Painter Dragoon, Lyle the Hexire, Lip Potatoes, Proxy, Kaminera, Moa, Heartland, Harak J, Dresso, Zlol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon, Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoko, My Moon, Alkir, Sweet Baby Red, Jess Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K-Bub, Magic Owl, The Frostbite, Monsoon, SCP-106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. This has been an absolute blast. I've loved it. I've loved every second of it. 
I want to learn the tracks on bass, but I'm not good enough at bass yet. Like, I looked up some stuff, uh, some tabs on the game's soundtrack and stuff to try and figure it out, and A, it's going to be really difficult to translate those to bass, and B, even if I do manage it, from what I could see, I was like, this might be a bit too difficult for me, but I want to keep trying, because I'd like to, because i just like to, I guess. I'd love to learn how to play Witch's Thicket on bass. If anyone out there can translate that into a bass tab, I'd be so fucking happy, but... You know, no, no pressure on that. Um, yeah. Looking forward to Ender Magnolia. I fucking hope it's good. Looking forward to seeing what you guys vote for next. This has given me confidence in you guys' ability to vote for a game, frankly, because I feel bad that I was unsure to begin with, because, you know, you guys really knocked out of the park with this one. If And seeing as Signalis was the runner-up last time, I'm getting the impression Signalis would probably be pretty fucking good, so... I don't know if this statement will age poorly, but... If, if Signalis gets voted for, I won't be disappointed. Just saying. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming along on this game, on this journey with me. It's been a great fucking time. Whatever happens next time, and I don't know. At this moment in time, at this exact moment in time, I have no idea what comes next. But whatever it is, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye. See you.